Hey, how's it going? Um, so this is gonna be a tool review on my DeWalt impact driver, which is a DC 825, uh, but it's also kind of how I'm putting it together um, and keeping my tools all organized. So I'm gonna do like maybe a series of these on some of the tools that I use and then uh, how I store them and how I keep all the stuff in one spot. So, um, I use the Festool system. This is a sustainer. Uh, it's made by a company called Tanos, and they're a German-based company, and uh, these are actually made in Germany. And uh, this one happens to be yellow. I put a black knob on the front, and then to make it super fancy, I went and got a decal offline and uh, on the internet and just put that on top, and now it looks like this box was actually made for the DeWalt. On the front, I printed... Uh, the logo from the DeWalt tool. So this is a DC 825. And then for the heck of it, I printed the UPC for the tool uh, just cause I was bored. So you don't need to keep your tools like this, um, but I try to keep my tools as organized as possible. Um, and it's not always like that, but at least as they say, uh, everything has its place and there's a place for everything. So this is what it looks like inside. Um, I got this egg foam stuff and then this comes from fast cap is the company and it's a uh, customizable uh, foam that you can cut and then you peel off these layers and i'll show you in a second but there's a whole bunch of laminated layers uh, so you can peel out as much as you want or as little as you want so this tool is 13 years old now i guess 14 years old i got a couple of years for uh yeah, for, right, right around when I got my first house. Um, and I love this thing. Um, they make a modern version of this. This is the old 18 volt. I don't see any reason to change. I have dropped this thing so many times. DeWalt made an amazing tool with this thing. Um, it has two features. It brings screws backwards and it brings them forward. Step on this. And I don't know if you can see that, but watch this. That's, that's me moving my hand. Hold on. There, that's fair. That's the torque. This thing is so much more useful than a conventional drill. Um, it has so much torque, this impact driver. You can take the, the bolts off a, of a truck, off the lug nuts, or you can spend all day cutting holes for electrical conduit, or you can bring it down really slow and just really gently bring in a screw. Um, it, it's super easy to strip things, but after a while you get really used to it. I happen to like the weight of this one with this bigger battery pack, um, bigger guy. So, you know, the weight doesn't bother me too much, but the weight of this and the weight of this are about equal. So it's kind of like holding a, a kind of like holding a dumbbell. Um, and it's super balanced. I like that a lot. So yeah, this is a DeWalt 825. Uh, like I said, there's a modern version with the fancier smancier batteries that they have now. I don't have that one. I have this piece of garbage. But I love it. Um, great, great tool. I really like the knurling and the release on the bit. Um, you're constantly changing bits. This is so much more helpful than a drill with a chuck where you have to release it, pull the bit out, put it back in, drive the chuck back in. Um, this little thing is probably one of my favorite parts about the tool. So there's the tool. A couple things I keep in here. Uh, this is the battery charger. So I've got my battery charger. I throw the cable underneath it and then I can chuck it in there. You can see my fast cap uh, cutting wasn't so good right there. But this is basically what it is. It's a whole bunch of layers of, it almost looks like like layers of sediment. Sed sediment? Sediment. Um, and you can almost see them right there. And you could peel each one of these layers out, and they're probably like one millimeter, uh, quarter inch. And so you can kind of peel it to where you want it. So there's the charger. Um, this is actually the reason I did this review. I just cut this because I use this thing all the time. This is my Milwaukee 45 degree or 90 degree right angle fixture. So you put this on, um, so you grab this, lift it up. And now see, as I turn this, it's drilling. And this thing's are super nice because you can open it up and you can get your angle and you can really get in there and get a nice, pretty tight angle. Um, my Festool drill can actually get a about the same angle, but this is definitely much stronger. Um, so I use that a bunch. 
And then this is where I keep my drill bits. So I have two of these old fishing, this are fishing lure boxes from a company called Plano. I love these things. They're bulletproof. They don't crack like a lot of plastic. And I basically keep two of them. I got one for drill bits. So these are drill bits. And uh, basically I use a spade bit a whole bunch. And then these are regular old drill bits. They're all that quarter inch uh, impact driver. And then this is a super important drill bit. This is a pilot bit. I have about five of these. And currently I think I'm down to two because these break all the time. So that's what I use. Um, I don't keep them in the storage box that they come in. I, I tend to buy the DeWalt ones. Uh, but what I'll usually do is, I think these are Irwin actually. These are speed bore. But I'll just, every once in a while, I'll go through, see which ones are dull, chuck all those, get new ones, put them in there. There you go. I don't have all the sizes because, like I said, they, they tend to burn out and that they're kind of trash then. So, so yeah, put that in there, drop that in there. This is my other Plano, Plano, whatever it is, Made in the USA, really good box. And it's actually watertight, not that you need that, hopefully. In here, so I'll show you what I keep in here. Um, probably the most useful things I have is I have a couple extensions. So these are both from Bosch. Um, these are little extensions. You put them on the end and you can even put them together and now you've got extra long piece. Um, I've got a couple converters that allow you to put in three quarter and half inch uh, impact driver pieces on there. More extensions. Uh, this little guy flips around. This guy is made by Malco. And this is really helpful when you're doing sheet metal work because these are the bits that you use in sheet metal all the time. And then I have a ton of these little guys. Um, this is GRK makes these. And they're, uh, you know, T10, T15, T30, T25, T20. Uh, that's the size. So I don't know if you can read that one. It's T20, GRK. Uh, this is used all the time. I almost never use Phillips or slotted screws. I'm always using these uh, star bit. They're called Torx T. That's what the T10, T15 is. Torx 10 size, Torx 15 size, Torx 20. And they're color coordinated. So when you get the box of GRK screws and it's green, you go grab the green bit and you don't have to look at the size or anything. You just know that, uh, you know, I'm doing... I'm doing a big one. It's a blue. I'll grab the blue one. They get really big. They don't change colors. This is a T50. This is for like lag bolts. Um, huge, huge bolts like that. And then I also have some, some extended versions that I bought over the years uh, for really, really long, deep uh, ones where you can't get in there. I've got a punch and another punch because you always need those every once in a while. And then here I've got the uh, obligatory slotted bit. And um, when you buy those kits, they give you these, like this is a T25. They give you this little shorty. Um, it's okay, but I like to get my finger around there without pinching it. So I use the slightly larger one that you have to buy. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I've got the Bosch standard PH2 Phillips and all that junk. So uh, anyhow, I use this a lot. If I was going to buy one tool, this would probably be it. This would probably be the one tool I get. So that's why it gets reviewed first. Um, I use this more than any other tool I have. Um, and it has been super reliable. Um, I don't think you can buy this particular model anymore, but you can buy one from DeWalt that's very similar. Um, and uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. I really like this little storage system. I use it all for all my favorite, well, pretty much all my tools now. And uh, what's super nice is when you get done, if you're still watching this video, you're probably like, when's he gonna get done talking about one tool? Um, throw that in there, chuck that in. One thing I did do, anybody trying to do this at home, I did put a, a sheet of foam of the foam that came with the box at the bottom, so that way it looks, looks prettier. Throw these two in there. Put that guy in there, shut the box, close it, 
And then this is modular. It, it stacks with this other sustainer system, which I'll do a video eventually on. So anyhow, that's 10 minutes of your life on the DH825 uh, DeWalt tool and how I organize it, how I use it, um, everything I know about it. All right, I hope this helps somebody out. Good luck.